This influencer went viral for pheromone maxing. Little did we know he would get in trouble with the police, contract a viral infection on his tongue, and has now once again contracted a fungal skin infection. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not the end of this story. Guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. There comes a time in a man's life where he's going to decide what kind of man he wants to be for his family. The pheromone maxer, throw all that out the window. He don't want to be no man. He wants to be the king of Nurgles. You know, forget the idea of a man being forged in fire. This man was forged in rot and decay. I mean, look at the state of his foot. I mean, that kind of decay can only be achieved by harnessing the damp from the crevice he climbed out of. I mean, he looks like he's tried barbecue in his foot. But I come to you today, ladies and gentlemen, with a new set of insanity. In my last video, I called this guy a turd collector. And in this video, he's decided to, uh, to smear f faces all over his walls. And I don't really know how that aligns with all of his goals because if you are new to the series, if you don't know, this man believes that pheromone maxim will attract the ladies into his life to get some of that poo tang. And I'm not exactly sure how a bit of poo poo on the wall is going to make the ladies soaked for him. Like, what's he going to do? Is he going to invite a girl over to his house and cover himself in feces? Yeah, what's up, ladies? You ever met a guy that loves the smell of ass? Well, you're gonna be creaming tonight, ladies, from my shitty fingers. <laughs> I love the smell of human feces, ladies. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, seems rather accurate. But anyway, about the fluff dumpster, we've seen all of his shenanigans before regarding his rotting foot and his decaying tongue, which was covered in f***ing thrush. Not to mention his greasy, oily hair. Oh, shit. Am I an Omega male, ladies? I mean, yeah. If an Omega male means the human form of brain-eating amoeba, then I'd say that's pretty accurate. Speaking of brain-eating amoeba, it's f***ing dad. He was the first victim of the fluff dumpster to be consumed by the pheromones. Now he's just a lifeless sack of shit that can't do anything. He, he can't even f***ing move. And it seems to be now, ladies and gentlemen, that apparently, wait for it, he's given everybody ringworm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole family's been infected with ringworm, and Brawl's got his own series going on called The Wingworm Saga. And then you've got The Poop Wall Saga, with four parts. Oh boy, I can feel it already. I'm starting to get the flu. But firstly, before we look at The Poop Saga, oh Jesus. <laughs> but before we do watch The Poop Wall Saga and The Ringworm Saga, there's a couple of other things I want to look at. It's just a whole big mess at this point. He's released a TikTok called God Loves Pheromones, apparently. Not sure where he got that information from, that God Loves Pheromones. I don't remember that being anywhere in the scripture, but <laughs> let's take a look anyway. Hashtag Jesus. Hashtag Pheromones. God, if he exists in brackets, give humans pheromones. So use them, people. He's talking about pheromones as if he has some sort of superpower. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not even confirmed that humans do even have pheromones anyway. So I don't know where this guy is, is built up this information from. The study shows here that there is no definitive answer. Some researchers believe that humans have pheromones, but they haven't been identified yet. Well, he's f***ing identified them. He uses them on women. Because he put me here. God put me on this planet so that I could teach people about pheromone maxing. Now, I'm an atheist, so I don't really believe in God, but what I'm saying is that if there is a deity here, if he is somewhere, God, please listen to me. You put me here on this earth to teach people about pheromone maxing. Now All right, guys, apparently this man's been put on earth to teach people about pheromones. You mean to teach people how to barely be a functioning member of society? I mean, what wisdom does this man have to teach us? He's a f***ing caveman. The guy's still sleeping in small round nests of grass. But guys, who am I to judge, you know, please feel free to take this man's advice if you aspire to be some sort of swamp dweller. I am here because I teach people. Teaching is the one thing that I'm good at, and I teach people about pheromone accent. I, <clears throat> I swallowed some spit there. I... <sighs> yeah, but why do you feel the need to disclose that? You know, you swallowed a bit of spit. All right, you're just making it more gross for no reason. I mean, what's the matter with you? You got some post-nasal drip going on? This is just a complete unnecessary statement that nobody asked for. What I do is I teach people about pheromone maxing. It's by one calling. <clears throat> There's like some almonds in my throat. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is fucking terrifying. The eyes, just a cold stare, a lack of warmth, <laughs> empathy, no compassion. Just dilated pupils as if he's a hunter and we are the hunted. You can just tell he's on the verge of flying off the handle and just killing everybody. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
you put me here on this earth to teach people about pheromone max you know i don't believe in him uh, i don't want to get political here about whether or not he exists there's also one point as well where he was talking about whether or not god was real and he said he didn't want to get political what the f does that mean? I suppose it makes sense, you know, because God and the Bible is all about discussing the political parties and the state of our economy right now. I mean, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do you think God put the fluff dumps on this earth to make people smell like shit? But anyway, moving on to the next TikTok, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, his grandma's passed away. Now, if you don't know who his grandma was, fluff dumps are recently mentioned her in a previous TikTok where he was apparently because reverse burglarizing her. So the moral of the story is, is that his grandmother had dementia and the fluff dumpster would go to the junkyard and pick up random items like a dining room table and a set of chairs and move them into his grandmother's house and convince her that she was a hoarder. That sounds like something a f***ing villain would do. Oh, and sorry, did I just mention that the moral of the story was that his grandma had dementia? No, she didn't have dementia. He convinced her of that also. In this TikTok where the mother is talking about his grandmother passing away, he is humming in the background like some sort of f***ing hummingbird. Almost like the symphony of celebration. She was so sick. She'd been trying everything. She was eating prunes. She was really trying. She'd been trending upwards too, which is why it was a shock. You know, she, she had her differences with him. She refused to call him his name. She referred to him as the boy after he started pheromone maxing. And she didn't understand it, and I get it. We don't really understand it either, but she was trying to be supportive. Isaac said he thinks that the pheromones were just too strong for how old she was. The pheromones were too strong for his grandma, so she passed away. And this guy's in the background humming Amazing Grace. He sounds f***ing happy about it, doesn't he? It's like, ah. So Isaac, your, your grandma has passed away. What? My grandma? Mm hmm. <laughs> But again, I don't know if his grandma actually did pass away. If she did, then, well, I'm sorry for the jokes I've been making. <laughs> but it's just, I don't believe it because of the way the title is spelt as well. Sned, Thorgutz, and Prayers. And also the way the scene has been set for us. It doesn't sound like somebody who's going through some grief. Someone asked in the comments, did he kill her? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, his grandma came over one day and requested a cup of coffee. And what did he say? Yeah, sure thing, silly grandma. I'll get you your cup of coffee. Straight in the mug of coffee. Killed her. Instant death. I can't tell if this is real. Well, judging by the rest of their TikTok account, um, I'm gonna say it's not real. Who knows? The ringworm surely does seem rather convincing. <laughs> but either way, if your grandma has passed away, I retract every joke I've said so far. And I give my condolences. I'm very sorry. I don't know, just some thoughts and prayers. I appreciate you guys. So what the f*** was that? What, what, what the f***? What was that? Disturbing. That's enough to make anybody go insane. Yeah, my grandma's passed away, guys. Send thoughts and prayers. Why are you doing this? Can you stop? I, it's like, it's like a mournful hymn. Be to celebrate her life. You were doing this at the wake, Isaac. It's not appropriate. I At the wake at the hospital, I was trying to be mournful in the way that I can. Okay, Mom? I am... I... That's just how I do it, okay? She loved you, and you don't even care. She loved me. Again, it's not normal, is it? It's not normal behavior. Like, you get told somebody's passed away, and the first thing you start doing is doing a mournful hymn. It doesn't sound like he's mourning his grandma's death. He sounds like he's enjoying it. Only this sick freak would enjoy something like that. Speaking of sick freak, he's sad adventuring out, ladies and gentlemen. He's taken up some new hobbies recently. Painting to be one of them. Painting his walls with human feces. They've uploaded this saga called the Poop Wall Saga. I thought he was a good artist. Yeah, I thought he was a good artist as well. I mean, I've seen how many pencils he's got till he admitted to chewing them all. And this is how bad this has gotten. This is one of the comments. Fluff Dumpster, break character and my life is yours. Yeah, trust me, you don't want to give your life to him. That, that's a big mistake. I've already done that. Have you seen how many fucking videos I posted on the guy? I tell you, every waking moment, every time my head hits that pillow, I just see the Fluff Dumpster, yeah? You know how certain actors have to prepare for a role like Evan Peters prepared for Jeffrey Dahmer and then he came out the other side not the same once the show was released? Yeah, I feel the same about this. I'm not the same man right now that I was before I started making videos on this guy. A couple of, couple of switches have gotten, gotten loose up there. But I, I think I'm okay. Oh, he's drawing. He's a really good artist. Hey bud, what are you drawing? How did you unlock my door? What the f*** is that? What is that? Is that shit? No. Isaac, I'm telling your dad. Don't tell my dad. I'm telling your dad. Don't tell my dad. 
Oh, God. So my guy took a shit in the bucket, stuck his finger in there, and really started smearing his own feces on the wall. He drew a fucking boat with a dragon in the sky of some sort. And then there's just that big lump of shit in the middle. I, I mean, that, that is art. It's subjective, subjective, right? right? Has anybody ever drawn a piece of art with their own feces before? I just gotta find out, I'm sorry. <laughs> Piero Manzoni, a contemporary artist known for his work with turds, canned his own fecal matter. And also, what's this whole like, don't tell my dad, don't tell my dad. What's his dad gonna do? The blow can't f***ing move. He has to move from that chair in about 925,000 years. <laughs> it's a total overestimation there. But that doesn't matter. But why even do that in the first place? Like, what's wrong with breaking a couple of pencils out, a bit of A4 piece of paper, you know? It's not like the way it was when I was growing up. I mean, what the f is going on? Now people are painting with their walls with their own fecal matter. So the next part in this saga is a uh, poop or saga part two out of four. I got a warning which says, participating in this activity <laughs> could result in you or others getting hurt. I don't know if they mean by participating in the activity of smearing crap on your walls, or participating in the activity of watching this TikTok. Either way, I feel like I've got something to lose, so. My mom is removing my artwork. Mom, you're just being overly dramatic now. Mom, you're, you're kind of being a drama queen right now and you don't need to be. I think, I think, why would you do this? Oh, did she really just pick the lump of shit off the wall using her fingers? What is wrong with these people? And she smelt it as well. What do you expect it to smell like? I feel like most things in the world, if you see something, like you pick it up or whatever, I'm a smell. Like, but if I got like a bit of something on my finger or I'm about to try something or taste something, I'll take a sniff. I feel like shit is one of those things that you just wouldn't sniff no matter what. Because we all know what shit smells like. It's not like it's a new opportunity for you to explore a new smell. So you just wouldn't take a sniff, would you? And believe it or not, after all of this stuff, his mum catching him painting his walls with crap, her threatening to tell his dad, the only thing he's concerned about, whether or not he's gonna get his fucking Burger King. You did get some on the floor. Um... No, I don't think you have to reclean my room. You're not getting your allowance this week, that's for f What? You're not getting your allowance, you're not getting anything. Am I getting Burger King still? You can get it on Wednesday, but only because it's on the, of the deal, and you can only get the $3 waffle, you're not getting anything else. Damn you're it. That's his punishment for rubbing fecal matter on the wall? Is that he's only allowed to get the $3 waffle? No, like, grounding him or anything, or, you know, not letting him outside? Well, he doesn't go outside anyway, does he? Fuck. There's no way to beat this man, is there? How do you punish a man that already does a good enough job punishing himself. But I feel like he enjoys the punishment. Like, he, he enjoys it, you know? He gets off on it. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the, the ringworm. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, look at that. And if you don't know what ringworm is, ladies and gentlemen, let's just take a look at the definition real quick. Ringworm is a common fungal infection that causes a red, itchy, scaly, circular rash on the skin. So essentially, they have a bacterial infection within their skin. Now, I can't help but, you know, consider the fact that perhaps the fluff dumpster had caused this. As we know, he liked to remove the soap dispenser caps from the hand sanitizer when COVID was around. You know, just to stop people from using the hand sanitizer so he could spread the COVID virus. He admitted that, so <laughs> there's no limit to how far this guy will go, all right? So I'm convinced that this ringworm thing, he, he probably planted this somehow. See the wingworm here on my neck, it's on my double chin, and then I've also got it here on my forearm, and then I've also got it back here on this other arm. It's all over. Uh, Isaac ended up pranking the wrestling team back by giving them all ringworm. Did I f say? What did I say? This guy pranked the wrestling team back by giving them ringworm. Like, <laughs> damn, look at the bags under her eyes. Apparently she's got it all over her body as well. But the fluff dumpster is chuffed right now. The whole wrestling team has it. Isaac doesn't have it. Uh, but the whole school has been struggling with it. They actually sent an email home saying that they're possibly going to close down the school. As if. <laughs> off for that with you. <laughs> the end of the fluff dumpster story. Killed by his own pheromones. <laughs> pheromones turned against him. <laughs> Why is she saying that Isaac doesn't have it? He's literally got a huge ring on the side of his head. Now the next bit is one of my favorite bits because we get to hear from the man himself. And uh, you know, he goes on to talk about his wingworm. That's what he calls it, wingworm. Yeah, he pronounces the R with, with a W. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Girls, do you find my wingworm hot?
uh, for you ladies and guys, but only the hot ones. Oh wow, how, how very sexy. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just trying to spin in circles so I could possibly give myself a concussion. Maybe I'll go into a coma, that'll be nice. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck! Ladies in the comments section, do you, do you find this ringworm attractive? Do you feel like dating him after this now? Like, now that you know he has ringworm, has that solidified a romantic date between you two? Uh, for you ladies and guys, but only the hot ones. And then he blows a few kisses and claims that they're for the ladies and guys, but only the hot ones. So, um, he was definitely blowing those kisses at me then. You know, it's 9pm on a Friday evening, I should be out having a Chinese or something. <laughs> but instead I'm watching this shit. Oh my goodness, just the, the, this guy, look at the guy in the back, look at him in the back. He looks like a zombie. He looks like a part of the living dead. So I just found out the truth about what's been happening. Isaac's been giving all the neighborhood cats ringworm. Moral of the story is that if you so seek the truth, you can find it. 9-11. Never give up. Never stop trying. Never lose hope. Triple kisses. And the 9-11, just had to slip that in there. Seek the truth, you will find it 9-11. Alright. I, I have no one to talk with this about. Yeah, me neither. I have nobody else. I, I can't go up to anybody and talk about this because nobody else will understand. But don't worry, I didn't just skim over the fact that he said he's been given the neighborhood cat's ringworm. And that's apparently how it spread. I told you. God damn it, I warned you in every goddamn video. This guy is going to infect the world. He loves viruses. He loves the flu. Like, he, he loves Ebola, you know? <laughs> this is the only sick freak that I know that actually loves illness. <laughs> like, is there an end to this, I wonder? Like, I do, I do ask myself that myself, ladies and gentlemen. Is there an end to this series? Because I feel like the fluff dumpster, the influencer who refuses to shower, is kind of the series I've just been running with for a very long time now. And I feel like I could come back to this at any point in the future, and there'll be something new. So I'm enjoying it. If you guys are still enjoying these kinds of videos, I'm going to keep making these kinds of videos. Well, that said, I'm so tired today. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with me, but check out my other videos. And, um, you know, if you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy these ones. Yeah, I'll be I'm going to go to fucking bed now, and hopefully not have a nightmare about the fluff dumpster. Pooh, man.